What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Astray, the alpha demo for Astray is what I should say. Now, this demo actually just popped up on Game Jolt this morning, and it looks really cool. It is a very, like, the graphics and everything, it's built in the Unreal 4 engine, so it's going to be... Uh, the high graphics, which is a pretty powerful engine, um, and it's also kind of, it's the same engine that, uh, like, The Park, which is a game I played the other day, was designed in, so it looks really cool, now this is only the alpha demo, so it is technically still, like, obviously being in development, and the title actually could t potentially change by the time the developers finally release the game, but it looks pretty cool, now, Apparently the story is about you and your dog are, uh, I think you go up to like a, a cabin or something like that in the woods and something catches your dog's attention and he takes off and that's how the story begins. I'm hoping that it's actually going to explain more of that once I actually launch into the game because um, I really, I would rather, much rather the game tell me than have to read the description of the game on the Game Jolt page. But then again, it is al an alpha demo so it technically makes sense for that and I'm just making up excuses because I didn't read the entire thing. So anyway, um... I figured, why not stick with the creepy vibe? I've been playing scary games all week, actually, which is perfect for Halloween tomorrow. Um, and like I said, what I'm probably going to do is tomorrow morning, I will probably finish up and release the park. That way, that'll be out of the way. If you guys want to watch it, you can. Yeah, otherwise, you don't have to. And then in the afternoon, I have not decided what I'm going to do. Um, there's actually a really cool Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that's hopefully supposed to come out tomorrow that I've actually been pretty... I've been following it quite a long. It's been in development for quite some time, and it's supposed to be out tomorrow. I don't know if it actually is. The developer still doesn't know yet. Um, hopefully, it'll be released tomorrow. If that comes out, I will absolutely play that because it looks really cool. Um, so anyway, let's actually jump into this game and see what this more of it is actually about because I've been pretty excited to see it because this came out pretty early this morning. Um, I noticed it on my phone while I was at work today, and obviously, it took me this long to finally get home. Also, it has a noir style of graphics, so everything's kind of like in black and white, which I really do like. I like that atmosphere. Uh, left shift to, uh, which way did I start? Was it, I think I came from over there. Okay, I have to hold it. Wait, no, I can't, did I come from this direction? Alright, so first thing I want to say is, oh, that's my dog. Okay. Please don't tell me something happens to the dog. Alright, first thing I want to say is your character has a very low sprint. That is like, it's like two feet, and he's, oh, okay, Jesus, I was not expecting the lightning to do that. That makes sense, though. Your sprint, uh, switch to your camera, which is two or the F for flash. Uh, how do I? Oh, okay, how do I switch back to the flash? Okay, one is the flashlight, all right. So your sprint is ridiculously short. Oh, God damn it. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Can I? Okay. Did I go the wrong way, or? Where am I going? I think I... Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, where, where did I go? Did I get turned around? I think I got turned around. I think I went the wrong way. Really? Did I go the wrong way or... I, I was just following the path. I think I took the wrong way. Whoops. Okay, where the hell am I now? I am lost. God, your sprint is so short. Okay, one thing, developer. If you happen to watch this video, one thing that would be really awesome is if you could add a sprint bar. I know, I don't, I, I know a lot of, uh, some developers don't like to put those in because you're trying to go for a realistic vibe, which obviously it makes sense because you don't have a HUD in real life and, oh, I, I just fell in the water. Okay. Uh, what, what do I do now? Okay, so I had to start the game over again because I went the wrong way. You guys saw me probably fall into the water, and then I was pretty much screwed at that point. So I, I couldn't get out of the water, so uh, I'm back here. Uh, did I go the wrong way, or am I going the right way? This is the same path that I took. And then I tried to go back, and I fell down because apparently you can't climb up that log. Okay, that makes sense. God damn it, that lightning is very intense. It's very good, though. A lot of times in games, like, the lightning won't light up the actual game. I really do like that. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go stick with the path. Oh my god, your character's sprint is so short. I mean, it makes sense. I can't really talk because my sprint is like this. I, I, I hate, you know, fucking physical crap. Where's my dog? Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go over here? Like, I hear him bark. Oh, there's a tunnel and there's like something over here. Okay. Oh, good. My flashlight's, okay, my flashlight's good. So I haven't really been told any other buttons. I've got the flashlight. Which is cool. So that kind of reminds me of like stairs. Uh, what was it? Stairs that I could do that? I don't remember. Alright, yeah, let's go into the creepy tunnel. I mean, it makes sense because I'm going after my dog and I would, I, I, ugh, this is, this is, he's barking. Please don't let something happen to him. That's not going to be cool. I probably won't be able to play this game if something happens to him. I do not like 
animal violence in games and stuff like that. Like, if a human dies, I could give a fuck less. But if, like, a dog or any type, pretty much any type of animal dies, nah, I hate that shit. Like, when it comes to movies and stuff like that, mm mm. Like, I, I literally cannot bring myself to watch the movie Marley and Me, which I'm sure if anybody knows the story of that, it's depressing as fuck. Um, I will never watch that. Absolutely never watch it. Even if I get married and my girlfriend's like, oh, or my wife, we should watch this. And I'm like, nope, not happening. You can watch it by yourself. I'm not going to turn into a big blah, 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 baby. It's a uh, stupid flashlight. Stop it. I mean, it's, it's cool, but God, your sprint is so short. Oh God, I thought I saw something. Uh, your sprint is so sh- oh. Okay, what the fuck was that? Okay, so the flash is actually kind of cool because it allows you to get like a bigger atmosphere. It allows you to get like an actual kind of just a, a- Oh my god, I thought that was something in the fan. All it is is the blades of the fan. Is this- Okay. I heard my dog over here. Is he- Please don't let something happen to him. Like, that would be cool to have your dog go with you throughout the rest of the game. Like, that would be cool. Like, how many how many indie games, I don't think I've actually played one, where you actually have a companion that goes with you throughout the rest of the game. Like, that would be awesome. Because I know most, most horror games, you pretty much run solo. And it makes sense because that's what, that's what's creepy. And, okay, pipes, fuck off. So is he in there? How do I open this? Oh, I can open it. Okay, cool. So I haven't actually seen my dog. I have no idea how long this demo actually is, too. I mean, the atmosphere is great. Sound design is good. It's creepy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close that door, and we're gonna not go that way. Ah! Okay! What the fuck was that? All right. What the hell was that thing? Oh good, that's locked. Excellent. So I do have to go down that creepy doorway that I already went through. Awesome. Dude, I swear to God, if something happens to the dog, I'm gonna be mad. Developer, if you're watching this, dude, it would be so awesome of you to design the dog as a companion that can go with you in the game. That would be awesome. Can I open these? Are these lockers? Oh, they are lockers. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door, because I do not want something to fucking sneak up behind me and poke me in the butt while I'm trying to... I'm just trying to take a shit, alright? Can I open this? If I can... Okay, no, I can't. I just wanted to take a dump. Jeez, come on. Can't see my character. God, your flashlight, like, disappears when you get too close to something. Which makes sense. I mean, if you put a flashlight too close to something, it's obviously you're not gonna be able to see shit. What the hell is that? Picked up lighter? What do I need that for? Do I need that? How do I... Nope, that's that. Can I pull up the lighter? I don't think I can actually pull up the lighter. But yeah, I don't know I don't know how long the demo's gonna go. I don't know if the demo's gonna stop. Like, if something does happen to the dog, it's... I don't know if it's actually gonna show it in the demo or if it's gonna stop right when something does happen to it. But developer, I, I haven't gotten that far yet, so I'm making assumptions. If something doesn't happen to him or her, I don't know if it's a girl, it doesn't say, uh, that would be so cool if you designed him or her, the dog, to... Why? Is that another entrance? Oh, it is. Okay, I was like, why the fuck is there a bush in here? Okay, I can't actually go there. Sound design is really good. It's very good. It's very creepy. Very atmospheric. And I really like it. Oh, is... Okay, reflections are a little bad, are a little messed up on that. Not too bad, though. I mean, this is still technically an alpha demo, so I can't be too critical on it. And I'm really not. I'm trying not to be. If I sound like a douche, I'm sorry. What's that? Picked up fuse. Fuses can be placed in fuse boxes to generate electricity and light in your area. Oh, okay. That's that's actually pretty neat. What's this? I need that key, probably. Dear Linda, I've got some bad news. I'm not coming home this weekend. The new janitor finished his training last week and was supposed to come in this month, this Monday, but didn't. I've been talking, uh, I've been talking some other, I just probably, there's supposed to be something, uh, I've been talking to some other members is what it's probably supposed to say. Other members 
of the staff and they are saying that he has been reported missing. Some even say that he has been murdered at the hotel. The police hasn't been here yet, so I guess it's just a rumor. I wanted to call to tell you this, but the storm has taken down the, the phone lines and the power cu cuts out frequently as well. I'll write you another letter or call you as soon as I know more something. Love you, Tim. Can I close that? There we go. Okay, so you can't call her, but you want to write her a letter? What? Uh, can I place the fuse in there? How do I, how do I, how do I place the fuse? How do I, how do I do it? Nope, I didn't want to close that. Open that back up. Do I have to, like, switch to it? No, I, uh, is there, hold on. Uh, I can't actually interact with it. I wonder, can you not do it in the beta, or in the alpha demo, is what I should say? Why do I keep saying beta? Hold on, let me get underneath it. Nope. Huh. I can't actually put the fuse in there. Maybe you can't put it in the demo. That makes sense that maybe it's like, that's not ready yet. But at least it gives you an idea of what uh, what one looks like. Because, I mean, I picked that up. You guys all saw that. And I can't actually, I can't do anything with it. I mean, I'm spamming the button. The only thing that actually moves when I press something is the door. So, I guess I can't do it in the demo. Not that big of a deal. But I like the fact that the developer actually gives you an idea on what the fuses look like. And what the box would obviously look like going forward. Okay. So I got a key. I'm guessing the key opens... I'm guessing the key opens that door that was at the top of the stairs, right? Okay. It was back this way, right? Holy fuck, you're fl Okay, the black and white filter on this is great, but goddamn does it make this game dark. Ah! Oh my god, that was just... Okay. Wow. Alright, so that was a really short demo, but it was really good. I actually liked it. Like, oh, okay, so it went back to the main menu. Good. Alright, so this was actually a pretty cool demo. Like, not bad. It was very, very short. It was only, what, like 10 minutes maybe? Um, but it wasn't bad. It kind of sets you up with the, the controls for the game. It sets you up with, like, the graphic style that's going to be going in it. And I'm sure everything's going to get improved once the final version comes out. <coughs> Sorry. Because the Unreal Engine 4 is a pretty powerful engine. So, I mean, if you've got a, a decent, you know, a developer behind it that's good with it and knows how it's going, like, what is this going to... I'm currently making this game alone if you want to help. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So, if anybody happens to know how to design a game and knows what Unreal Engine 4 is, I don't know if anybody's actually going to watch the video that knows how to do that stuff, email that guy right there. Maybe you can help him out because it, this is literally a single developer project. So, honestly, developer, you're doing a good job so far. When it's just being one person, because I, I like it. Atmospheric, the graphics are really good. The, uh, uh, compared to like, I like the Unreal Engine 4, I want to say is more powerful than the, than the, the, uh, what's the other, what's the other big engine? Uh, oh my god. What is the other engine? Why can't I think of the other engine right now? Un, no, not, not the Unreal Engine. Um, wow, I cannot remember what the hell the other engine is. Holy crap. Okay, forget it. I can't remember what it is. I'm sure somebody can can point it out to me in the comment section below. I apologize, guys. I don't know why I'm drawing a complete blank on the other one. Um, but this this is actually pretty cool. Like, I like the atmosphere of it. Um, there are some... There's a couple more screenshots on the actual game page that shows you... I'm guessing the hotel because it talked about the hotel in that little description on that paper that I found. Um, and it didn't actually give me, like, really any information about what's going on. I actually got to see what maybe the creature is. I don't know what the hell that thing was. It looked like a fucked up golem. Or maybe the creature... It kind of reminded me of the creature from Until Dawn. Uh, but this was actually not bad. Like, the only thing that I have to say is... I know that the developer is going for atmosphere, but it would be nice to, like, the, the sprinting mechanic. That is, that's probably my only complaint so far. The game is very, very dark, but that's what kind of, what goes with black and white style noir graphics. Is, most stuff is very dark because, obviously, everything is black and white. So, everything is going to be a lot darker than it is. I like the camera flashing and everything. I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that the, like, the, the character's arm and everything for the camera, hopefully that stuff will get kind of, um, that stuff will get kind of polished up once the final version comes out because it was just kind of stiff standing there. But still, this is just an alpha demo. This is like the first demo the developers actually put out there for people to test and try out. So, it, honestly, I'm, I'm, 
I'm hoping that stuff is going to get improved. I'm guessing stuff will get improved as the game goes on in development. I have no idea when, like, I don't even know if the developer is going to put out a beta. If the developer does, developer, I would love to play the beta, um, unless you're going to release it to everybody and whatnot, or if you're just going to release the final version of the game. I don't know if you're just going to go from right from alpha right to the full version, but I do really do like it. The sound design graphics, the dis, uh, the atmosphere graphics, like the, the sound and everything, like the rain. When I went into that room and the, the wall was all crushed down and I could see the leaves and everything, as I got closer, I could hear the rain and I could hear the wind blowing, but as I got farther away, it got more and more dull. So just little features like that, like... Compared to some indie games, that's a nice feature. Like, I know I'm just pointing out little details that you would think, oh, that's just stupid, why are you pointing that out? But when it comes to indie games, those little things matter big time. Because in a big game, you expect it. But in a lot of indie games, some developers, like, some indie games don't even have sound. Some indie games uh, don't really have a lot when it comes to, like, sound design. So when you put those little minor details, it stands out, and I really like it. So, like I said, my only complaint so far has to be the fact that the game is ridiculously dark, but it, it goes with the game, and it, that doesn't really bother me. I, I'm not complaining about that. The only thing that I didn't really like was the sprint. It was very, very short, and it makes sense because obviously you're going for like an atmospheric, and you're going for like a realistic style, uh, like your character. So there's obviously probably not going to be a HUD. I don't even know if you can fight back against the creature. I don't know if it's going to be a type of game where you have to run and hide or you can fight back. Um, so I have no idea about that. But I, the only, my only complaint has to be that sprint. It was very, very short, which makes sense because most human beings, like a standard, like a, a general person, like me or somebody else, most people can't sprint for, you know, can't sprint forever, like in Call of Duty or in Gears of War or something like that. That's completely unrealistic. Um, the only thing, like, there wasn't a bar for it. The only thing that I knew that I was getting tired is my character would sprint, and then he would just dead stop, and then he would start breathing really heavily. So hopefully that'll get kind of polished up. I don't know if you want to add, like, maybe a sprint bar, or if you want to add a slightly bigger sprint. I don't know what you wanted to do with that, but that was that's probably my only complaint so far. But then again, I haven't really explored a lot of the game. All I've really done is I've walked through the woods, and I went into that building. So there really wasn't too much from there, from, like... For me to actually have to determine how well the sprint is like I haven't had to run away from the creature yet so I don't know how well that's actually gonna work in also another suggestion I don't know if this is something that you are thinking about or you probably weren't thinking about but the dog pretty much vanished halfway through that demo so I don't know if there's something like I never saw it all I did was hear the barking so I don't know if something happened to him or if the dog's still in the game and you're just chasing after him one thing that would be awesome and very unique for your game developer is if you found him and he like went with you on your on your track like I don't know who your character is I don't know if he's like a dog trainer if he's like a, a, a like the dogs a canine unit I don't really know because you didn't really say so I don't know if you want to make him like the dogs like super loyal and he'll listen to his master no matter what dude that would be awesome if you could take your dog with you like maybe make it so the dog is is can't be sensed by the creature or something like that in the sense that you can like take control of the dog and like scout out where the creature might be and then you can have your guy walk up and like meet, meet him and stuff like that or have the dog follow you and the dog can actually be a way that you can um you can sense when the creature's getting close because the dog will be able to hear or smell it so like make it so the the thing is really quiet like the creature i don't even know what the thing is but like when it gets closer to you the dog can like do like a low growl and you'll know like okay the creature's near i gotta be careful so I don't want something to happen to the dog if you think about at doing this feature. I don't know. That would be cool to have him as a companion though. That would just be awesome to me because I've never played a game, an indie game, where you actually really had a companion with you like this. So that would be really cool and it would be, I don't know. I don't know how you would design it. I'm just giving you a suggestion. Um, I don't even know if the dog's going to make it through the game. I have no idea. There's no there's no answer to that. But that was just a suggestion that I would, that would be cool and it would be unique. So I don't know if you wanted to run with something with that. I don't know if you could design something around that. I just think it would be kind of cool to have somebody with you. And it's not in the sense that the dog is going to attack the creature. No, don't don't make it do that cuz then the creature could easily just, you know, you could easily just have the creature kill it. But if you if you have him with you but he's he's scared of it like you are, but he can warn you like I said when it's near. I don't know. I'm just throwing out suggestions. This was a cool game. I've been talking for like 10 minutes now. Sorry about that guys, but I don't know. I just wanted to get that off my chest to see if maybe the developer might want to do something with that. Just a, just a suggestion. Um that's what I'm I'm good at. So, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. If you guys want to check the game out, there'll be a link to the game in the description below. If you are somebody that happens to want to help the developer out uh, feel free to email him i'm sure he could definitely use the help 
Because this game could have, has a lot of potential to be really cool, but the more people you have backing it, the better the game will be. So anyway, that's all the time I got for you today, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this game in the comment section below. And thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that I've done, and I will see you guys next time. Maniacs, out. Is there another one in here? Ah! Oh, my God! Please help me! It's getting close! Oh! Oh, my God, no! Hi!